In the late 1800s, there was a German math teacher named Wilhelm von Austin, and he had a hypothesis. He thought that most animals were a lot more intelligent than we give them credit for. So he sought out to demonstrate and prove this hypothesis with a series of experiments with a cat and a bear and a horse. Von Austin actually wanted to teach them arithmetic. The cat and the bear, well, let's just say they were less than impressive, but the horse that horse showed promise. With minimal training, Von Austin demonstrated that he could teach this horse called Clever Hans to recognize and identify basic numbers on a cue card and then tap his hooves that many times. Von Austin would hold the card that had the number three, for example, and Clever Hans would tap his hoof one, two, three times on the ground. Before long, Von Austin actually got Clever Hans to solve some basic arithmetic problems. So he'd say, Hans, what's three times four? and Hans would tap his hoof 12 times on the ground. And indeed, Von Austin even taught Hans to tell the time and to even spell some basic words using the code where A was one tap and B was two taps and C was three taps and so forth. So my question here is like, how come you've never heard of Clever Hans? Let me explain. In his day, Clever Hans was actually quite famous and he toured the countryside with Von Austin, demonstrating his arithmetic prowess. There was even a big time New York Times cover story about him, and that's when a prominent psychologist contacted Von Austin to investigate the matter further. After a series of tests, the psychologist discovered something. He figured out Clever Hans's secret. See, Clever Hans, clever though he was, he didn't know arithmetic, he didn't know spelling, he didn't know how to count, he didn't know how to tell time. But what he did know, very intuitively, was how to read the reactions of all the people around him. See, unbeknownst to them, when Von Austin would ask an arithmetic question to Hans, Hans knew from the training that he was supposed to start tapping his hoof, apparently. But see, he didn't know how to count or he didn't know how to do the math. What he did know was how to read the subtle reactions of all the people who were around him. So when he would start tapping his hooves, the people around Hans would get really interested. They'd lean in, their eyes would dilate a little bit more. They would get excited knowing Clever Hans was about to get the problem right. And Hans was reading that reaction to determine when to stop tapping. See, he was not counting to 16. He was reading the reaction of the people around him who were counting to 16 and hoping he would get the question right. Clever Hans was never solving math problems. He was solving people. Now, some people take this story as evidence that Von Austin or other people like him are wrong and that animals are not really that intelligent after all. But I think he was right in a different way, just not the one that he thought. See, animals are a lot more intelligent than we think, but their intelligence is just in much different dimensions than we can usually appreciate. That's this week's Fun Fact Friday. See you next week.